Hello, Shlahayam, Naganim, Chris Rimple, Blues Chisan. Good morning, my name is Chris Rimple, Kalapuya Chinook Klamath, here in Tryon Creek State Park, the homelands of the Chinook and uh, Kalapuya people. I'm going to talk to you a bit in a series about cedar. So, cedar is one of those important different plant relatives for our tribes here. In my tribal language, Chinook Wawa, we call it Tlushtik. Stick meaning tree and flush meaning good. So we literally call cedar the good tree. That's because we can use it for so many different things every part and that's what we're going to be sharing a little with you about. You can use the boughs for making smudge to pray and purify yourself. You can also use the boughs and some of the branches to make a really good antifungal and antimicrobial cleaner which we'll be sharing with you. The bark is used with among our tribes and a lot of different northwestern uh, tribes for weaving the western red cedar bark. The wood itself you can use for carving. Our people make canoes out of cedar, but you need really old cedar, hundreds of years old, and that's getting harder and harder to find as people cut down lots of forests for logging and timber. Those old growth forests are really precious and that old cedar is really precious. And then finally, you can also use the roots for weaving. And so cedars, you can see every part from the outer bark, the inner bark, the roots to the boughs, it's all used. So that's why we call it the good tree, flushtit. So one of the first things you're trying to do is you need to find the cedar, know what it looks like, where it grows and how to identify it. So here in Tryon Creek, we know there's cedar. So as we're kind of going around, we start to look for it. As I move the camera, see if you can spot a cedar sometime just by its branches because that's usually the easiest way to find the cedar. So yeah, the boughs are the easiest way to identify cedar. Like we saw in that picture, once you get used to it, you can recognize it from a distance. And if you get up close, you see they kind of branch. They've got that green. They're a little scaly, a little prickly. And the nice thing about cedar is since it's an evergreen, the leaves and branches and boughs are on it year round, so you can find it throughout the year. And so one of these two trees is a cedar tree. And can you tell which is which just by looking at the bark? It might be a little tough sometimes, and even in person it's kind of tough till you start to get used to it. But this one here is the cedar, and this one here is a fir. It's kind of hard to tell it's one of those things you get used to, but the cedar, how it just kind of climbs up, um, it's a little more long lines, and then I kind of think of the fur as more kind of flaky, clumps, jigsaw -y. So that's another way to identify cedar, is kind of looking at the bark as well. Thanks for joining me as I shared a little bit about cedar and how to identify it. Join us for part two about gathering cedar. Hayumasi.